Taking down its entire school system earlier today over an email threat. Apparently, New York City got the same threat, but the mayor in the Big Apple said it wasn't credible and L.A. overreacted. Francis Townsend is former Homeland Security Advisor to President Bush. All right, Francis, here's, here's the issue. I mean, forget about who's right and who's wrong for now. Are we in an era, literally, where somebody can pick up a phone that can't be traced or send out an email and we shut down 60,000 students and inconvenience tens of thousands more parents? Is that how easy it is to do economic destruction? Well, in fairness, look, I think we're all going to, people are going to be pretty critical of the way Los Angeles handled this. But let's remember, it's two weeks since the San Bernardino shooting. And so I, I think that they are, at the moment, particularly sensitive to the threat. Now, for sure, we ought, when these threats come in, local law enforcement has to do a risk assessment. They have to judge w whether or not they can get clues as to how real it is. And no, not to every single bomb threat. We can't be emptying out the nation's schools. No. But we've got to make smart choices. In fairness, the other piece to this is, let's remember, the L.A. threat came in before school started. And so they had the opportunity to make a decision to cancel school. Based on what we know right now, New York's threat came in after all the children were there. And so that's a much higher standard to say you're going to evacuate schools. Yeah, listen, and, and just a little bit hits home for me as well, because my daughter's school district in New Jersey has been hit with over 40 swatting calls, oh. literally, in, in the last 12 months. Right. And, and yeah. it's, it's, you know, as a parent, you're thinking, okay, by, by now we realize they're all, you know, thank God, not credible. But you, you realize how easy it is. Some idiot with an, with an untraceable phone can do, you know, pretty much limitless economic damage. What do we do, Francis? How do we solve this? Well, I, I wish I could tell you that there was an easy solution. I mean, what you're really relying on is local law enforcement to be adequately trained, to be able to make the judgment between what is a credible threat and what is not. And, you know, whenever there's human judgment, of course, you run the risk that somebody is going to miss something or make a mistake. I understand the reason Los Angeles made the decision they did. It appears now that it may have been an overreaction to a hoax. But in the moment, but how do you know? Right? How do you, you know? know? It's a, that's exactly that's the right. problem. So you it, God forbid if it's not a hoax, right, people die. Right. If it is a hoax, then you get criticized. Oh, look, you overreacted. You can't win. No, you can't. You can't win. And quite frankly, when you're talking about children, I mean, you're, you know, what I mean, the nation's children. I think people are going to be hypersensitive there and want to err on the side of caution. All right, Francis Townsend with McAndrews and Forbes. Francis, uh, very important discussion. Thank you for having us. Appreciate Thank you, that. Melissa. All right, increase.